And for you, Frodo Baggins, I give you the light capabilities of the Samyang 50mm, our most beloved lens. May it capture light for you in places where all other lenses fail. What's up, you guys? We are here to talk again about the Samyang 50mm f1.4. Now, I did a review on this lens where I gave it a 10 out of 10. I'll have a link for that right up there. We have it mounted here to my Sony a7 III, which is a low-light monster as it is. Uh, with the video we did with Ariana and the black mist filter, which I'm going to link down in the description below, we were able to crank this guy up to about 20,000 ISO without getting much to any noise in any of our photos. But I really want to talk about the Samyang 50mm and its low light capabilities. Now, it is an f1.4 lens. And because it's an f1.4 lens, it means it's really, really fast. Now, aperture essentially means how wide open this will get. Because it goes super, super wide open, we were able to go and capture, well, take a look for yourself. On you're ready. I'm ready. Go ahead. So the lighting setup for this photo session was a pair of newer RGB lights set up in blue and red to get started. We did change the colors as we went. I had the camera set at about 640 ISO. Now, how dark those photos are, the dramatic shadows, the light whip, 640 ISO. That's it. These were taken at 1 200th of a second because I wanted to stop the motion of that light whip in action. I wanted to be able to capture Shaylin's movements in that split second. We weren't using the Godox, which I have a video on, I'll link down below. We weren't using anything but those two newer RBG lights. And this lens absolutely performed in a way that I couldn't have imagined. I want to explain to you how amazing having f1.4 is. And again, this lens is $300 to $350 brand new on Amazon in an E mount for your Sony. They do not make it an RF mount. We talked about that because Canon is terrible and will not allow third party manufacturers to make lenses for them. especially at this quality. Now, some of the issues that I had with the Samyang in low light is that I had a hard time focusing all the time. That was more on the Sony's part when it's that dark, it's hard for the Sony to grab onto her eye. You've probably seen some of the B-roll me going, click, we're gonna focus there. It had a hard time grabbing her eye. It did not have a hard time focusing. And what's absolutely amazing is even in those low light settings, this lens was capable of locking onto Shaylin, staying in focus and capturing some absolutely beautiful and sharp images. That's a little too close, back off, back to where you were at. There we go. So, Samyang, 50 millimeter, F1.4. 
We also have an 85 millimeter in F1.4 and an 18 millimeter in F2.8. The F2.8 did not perform as well in those low light conditions as this 50 millimeter did. And the 85 millimeter was a little bit too zoomed in for me to comfortably take the photos that I wanted to take because I wanted to be able to get almost full body photos of Shay Lin as she danced. So really we had to go with the 50 millimeter. The 50 millimeter truly is one of the most versatile and best lenses that money can buy. And the Samyang 50 millimeter F1.4, probably the best bang for the buck for low light photography. The 85 millimeter is great. It's about four to $500 on Amazon, but because it's 85 millimeter, it's really zoomed in. And if you've seen any of my other videos, you know that my garage studio is not that big. I don't have a lot of room to move back and forth. So the 50 millimeter mounted on the Sony ended up being the perfect choice for a small studio with low light conditions. And again, that F1.4 is just absolutely insane how quick it is. And go ahead. Sorry, what? You're good, go ahead and start dancing. Do that thing where you kicked your leg up and wrapped it. Let me get you in focus. And go ahead. All right, go ahead and start dancing. Now they do make a 35 millimeter F1.8. And I would like to get my hands on one of those. We're going to try and get one of those with some of our Patreon money so that we can kind of do the same kind of test where we're doing some low light photography. But I've done some low light photos with this 50 millimeter. If you remember the Christmas video that we did with Aaliyah, and I'll link that one right up there. We were using the 50 millimeter for that. And again, we were at about 640 ISO. We were taking photos at approximately one 100th to one 200th of a second. Some of them were slower because I did in fact bring the f-stop up because I had a tripod and I was making a video about tripods and so and so I wanted to get some movement and you can see it in Aaliyah's dress in these photos that I'm going to show you here that she was in fact standing completely still but her dress was blowing in the wind so we were able to capture some of that motion. A different kind of photo than with Shay Lin where we're actually trying to capture the motion and freeze that one moment of time. All right dance as fast as you want. And having an extremely fast lens, I cannot state this more than I already have. The extremely fast lens is so absolutely important when you're in low light conditions. This lens isn't just for taking some really cool light whip photos. This lens would function in a way for indoor photography. Let's say you're at a family event, you're at a quinceanera or a wedding, or you're taking photos with low light conditions. The F1.4, on this lens is absolutely stunning. And you couple it with the dynamic range of the Sony a7 III, and you have a true low light monster on your hands. Now it's not gonna perform as well in low light as the a7S III, which is the sensitive model alpha camera that Sony makes. But with an a7 III and the a7S III, especially the a7S III, I can only imagine the crazy low light insanity that you'd be able to capture with the Samyang 50 millimeter f1.4. It truly is an amazing and surprising lens. Every time I take it and try to push it to its limits, I am unable to. And this is kind of my update on the review. The review, yeah, it was 10 out of 10. We went out and did a quick, a quick photo session with it with Aaliyah, but I have to say that I really wanted to show off the low light capabilities of this lens. We'll probably do one of these low light videos with the 85 millimeter f1.4 it's probably going to absolutely blow me away how amazing that lens is at low light because the fact of the matter is is 
f1.4. Like you just can't beat it in low light conditions. And so I can honestly say that I still stand by my 10 out of 10. It was a little slower to focus, just a tad in those low light conditions. But overall, that's probably because we weren't using a modeling light. We were in extremely low light, but when it did lock on and when it did grab her, the camera and lens performed absolutely amazing together. This is a great combo if you're just getting in to full frame mirrorless photography. The a7 III, the Samyang 50 millimeter f1.4 with this, you can't go wrong when you're just getting started. This would be great for taking any kind of photos because the 50 millimeter is just that versatile and that's why I always recommend your first step out of a kit lens should be a 50 millimeter prime because the price is absolutely perfect and the speeds and sharpness of these, even in those low light conditions. Like nope, you're good, that totally works. I want you to frame your face with the light. Bring this side a little bit closer, just like that. Perfect. Just hold that. This is going to be what I call the profile picture. The sharpness of this lens cannot be underestimated. Even at f1.4, taking photos wide open at low light conditions, just using a couple of Niwa RGB lights. And this, this absolutely stunned and it absolutely did just such an amazing job. I highly recommend this lens if you're going into low light photography. I highly recommend the 50 millimeter for anything, but the Samyang seems to be the best budget lens for your dollar. So I wanna thank you all for joining me in this video. I hope you enjoyed. I tried to use more B-roll in this video than me actually talking. It seems like the B-roll is really popular. Everyone seems to really like it. So if you liked the way I styled this video, let me know down in the comments. If you did not like it, let me know down in the comments. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell notification so you know right when I upload. I upload one of these full-length videos once a week, and I upload a short just about every single day. And at 5,000 subscribers, I am giving away a Nikon D51 with a 50 millimeter, much like this one, but it's an F 1.8 Yangno lens. So thank you all so much, and I'll catch you all on the flip side. Bye.